Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered, how are stars born and how do they die? What happens during their lives? Today, we're going to uncover the secrets of low-mass stars, those that shine quietly for billions of years. We'll explore their fascinating journey from their birth in nebulas to their dramatic end. Get ready for a cosmic adventure that will change the way you see the universe. And remember, your questions and opinions are welcome in the comments. Let's begin. It all starts in a nebula, a gigantic cloud of gas and dust spread throughout space. When this cloud begins to collapse under its own gravity, possibly due to a disturbance like a nearby supernova explosion, it forms a protostar. This is the first stage of a star's life. Over millions of years the temperature and pressure increase in the core of this protostar, until magic happens. Nuclear fusion begins. For a protostar to become a star, the core temperature must reach about 10 million Kelvin. When this happens, hydrogen begins to fuse into helium, releasing an immense amount of energy. This fusion process is what keeps the star stable and shining for billions of years. Did you know that our sun is a low-mass star? Think about that the next time you feel the sun's warmth on your face. After stabilizing, the star enters the longest phase of its life, the main sequence. During this phase it fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, producing an immense amount of energy that escapes into space as light and heat. Low-mass stars like our Sun, can remain in this phase for billions of years. Low-mass stars have an advantage over their larger counterparts, they consume their nuclear fuel much more efficiently. This means that while high-mass stars may only live for a few million years, low-mass stars like red dwarfs, can shine for trillions of years. To put that into perspective, the Sun is about 4.6 billion years old, and is expected to remain in the main sequence for another 5 billion years. Impressive, isn't it? As the hydrogen in the star's core begins to run out, nuclear fusion decreases, and the core begins to collapse again. But hydrogen fusion continues in a layer around the core. This causes the outer layers of the star to expand and cool, transforming it into a red giant. During this phase, the star can expand up to hundreds of times its original size. For example, when the Sun becomes a red giant, it could engulf the inner planets, including Mercury, Venus, and possibly even Earth. Here's a question for you, have you ever seen a reddish star in the sky? You may have seen a red giant in action. The red giant phase is followed by an even more dramatic fate. The star begins to lose its outer layers, which are expelled into space, forming a beautiful planetary nebula. What remains of the core collapses into a white dwarf, an incredibly dense and hot object that slowly cools over billions of years. During the formation of the planetary nebula, the star expels its outer layers in successive pulses, creating complex and beautiful structures that we can observe with telescopes. The Ring Nebula, or M57, and the Helix Nebula are impressive examples of this phenomenon. Fun fact, a white dwarf is so dense that a teaspoon of its material would weigh more than 15 tons. After trillions of years the white dwarf cools and fades, becoming a black dwarf. However the universe is not yet old enough for black dwarfs to exist, so this is a phenomenon that has not yet been directly observed. Fascinating isn't it? A black dwarf would be a dead cold star, emitting almost no radiation, making it virtually invisible. This is the final stage in the evolution of low-mass stars, a cold and dark fate that awaits them in the distant cosmic future. Although they may seem small and insignificant compared to high-mass stars, low-mass stars play a crucial role in galactic chemistry. They help recycle heavy elements into interstellar space, contributing to the formation of new stars and planets. Low-mass stars are true factories of heavy elements, during their lives and deaths they synthesize elements heavier than helium such as carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. These elements are expelled into the interstellar medium during the red giant phase and planetary nebula formation, enriching the galaxy with essential materials for the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Think about it, the atoms that make up our bodies were forged in the hearts of stars that died long ago. Literally, we are made of stardust. Low-mass stars, especially red dwarfs, are important targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. This is because they have very long lifespans, and planets in the habitable zone could have enough time to develop life. Have you ever heard of the TRAPPIST-1 system? It has seven planets, some of which are in the habitable zone, orbiting a red dwarf. 
red dwarfs are the most common type of star in our galaxy, making up about 70% of all stars. Their longevity and stability make them ideal candidates for hosting planetary systems with the potential to support life. However, there are challenges. These stars can be quite active with stellar flares that can affect the habitability of planets around them. What do you think about the possibility of life around red dwarfs? Share your opinion in the comments. Besides the main topics, there are many fascinating curiosities about low-mass stars. For example, did you know that brown dwarfs, which are failed stars, don't have enough mass to start hydrogen fusion in their cores? They are somewhere between giant gas planets and low-mass stars. Low-mass stars can have exoplanets in habitable zones that are very different from our Earth. For example, these planets may be tidally locked to their stars by tidal forces, with one side always facing the star and the other in perpetual darkness. Recent studies suggest that planets around red dwarfs may have oceans and dense atmospheres that can protect life from stellar flares. Astronomy is in an era of exciting discoveries. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope promise to revolutionize our understanding of low-mass stars and their planetary systems. With its advanced capabilities, we will be able to directly observe the atmospheres of exoplanets and search for signs of life. Additionally, projects like the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite are constantly discovering new exoplanets around low-mass stars, expanding our knowledge and bringing us closer to the answer to the fundamental question, are we alone in the universe? Low-mass stars are fundamental to stellar and galactic evolution. They help regulate star formation in galaxies. The rate of star formation is influenced by the presence of low-mass stars, which affect the interstellar gas cycle. When these stars die, they release their elements into the galaxy, enriching the interstellar medium and facilitating the formation of new stars and planets. Besides our Sun, there are many notable low-mass stars. Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun, is a red dwarf. Betelgeuse, a red giant in Orion, began its life as a low-mass star. Each of these stars has a unique and fascinating history that contributes to our understanding of the universe. Betelgeuse, for example, is a red supergiant star that is nearing the end of its life. Soon, in astronomical terms, it could explode as a supernova. This event will be an incredible spectacle to observe and will teach us a lot about the life and death of stars. The metallicity of a star, or the amount of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium present in it, also plays a crucial role in its evolution. Stars with high metallicity tend to have more complex and potentially habitable planetary systems. The chemical composition of stars influences the formation and evolution of planets around them, including the possibility of forming rocky planets like Earth. Many low-mass stars do not exist alone, they are part of binary or multiple star systems. These star systems can have complex and interesting interactions. For example, in binary systems, mass transfer between stars can drastically affect their evolution. Studies of these systems can provide insights into stellar physics and gravitational dynamics. Modern technology allows us to observe low-mass stars in unprecedented detail. Telescopes like Hubble and the Chandra X-ray Observatory have provided us with valuable images and data. Ground-based observatories equipped with adaptive optics have also been crucial in studying these small but mighty stars. Low-mass stars leave a lasting legacy on the universe. They create the heavy elements necessary for the formation of planets and life. Their stellar winds and explosions spread these elements throughout space, contributing to the enrichment of the interstellar medium. Without low-mass stars, life as we know it would not be possible. The life and death of low-mass stars reveal the incredible complexity and beauty of the cosmos. From their birth in nebulas to their end as white dwarfs, these stars show us the vastness of the universe and our place in it. And the most amazing thing is that we are just beginning to understand these celestial wonders. So, the next time you look up at the sky, remember the fascinating journey that each star makes. What is your favorite star and why? Leave a comment and share your discoveries. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Don't miss our next video, where we will explore more mysteries of the universe. Until next time, and may curiosity never stop shining within you.